friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here today i have another video in my clean eating 101 we are going to talk all things fridge and pantry clean eating staples. I'm going to show you all of the things that I have been loving on my clean eating journey. Things that are WW friendly, great ingredients, keep you full, satisfied. Your body knows what to do with these foods, how to process them and turn them into energy for you. And these foods also will help contribute to weight loss because you are eating good whole healthy foods instead of processed junky foods. So I'm going to take you into my kitchen. We're going to go in the pantry, the refrigerator, and then I'm also going to show you here on the screen some of the products that I don't have on hand that are most important clean eating staples. So let's jump right in to my pantry and refrigerator clean eating staples. I'm around from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. I was worried you blow my reputation But the figure is not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger all right This very finger for people like them Oh, no, no But darling, on my mind I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown world and high First, I want to start with breads. So on a clean eating diet, you try to stay away from processed foods and your white breads and your wheat breads and those types of breads in the store in the regular bread section are generally heavily processed and full of ingredients that you don't necessarily want to have in your diet. And the reason for this is your body doesn't know what to do with processed man-made chemical made ingredients. Your body doesn't know how to process those. So it's not using it for fuel like it does if you're eating a whole real food that your body knows what it is. So with bread, this can be pretty darn tricky. There are a couple of breads that I have been absolutely loving. First is the Ezekiel brand of bread. They have a raisin bread that is absolutely delicious. I love having it for breakfast. I put just a little bit of my melt plant-based butter on there. You can even put a little bit of nut butter. It is so delicious. Slice up a banana and you have an absolutely delicious whole clean food breakfast and the raisin bread is hearty and thick and dense as bread should be so i'm loving the ezekiel raisin bread also from the ezekiel line is the sprouted bread i love this bread as well and as you know i love the ezekiel english muffins these are something that i have quite regularly in my freezer and you guys see me eat these a lot in my what i eat in a days these english muffins are absolutely delicious and they are four smart points so you can have a thomas processed english muffin for three or you can have a whole grain sprouted delicious english muffin for four and let me just tell you the ezekiel keeps you full much longer than a processed thomas english muffin does so highly recommend the ezekiel breads and english muffins and lastly in the bread are the trader joe's sprouted sourdough and sprouted wheat both of these breads are absolutely delicious smart points are great one smart point for the sprouted wheat two smart points for the sprouted sourdough for one slice and again whole real clean food. So these are a staple for me. Whenever I'm wanting a sandwich or toast or an English muffin, I reach for a sprouted bread. Nut butters. Nut butters are a staple for me. I love peanut butter, but I don't eat the Jif or the Skippy because they're made with hydrogenated oils. I've moved over to a nut butter that all that is in there is nuts and sometimes salt. My favorite is the mixed nut butter from Costco. It's a great deal. It's delicious. It is full of literally just nuts and salt, but it gives you that chia seed and a few other delicious nuts. It's my favorite nut butter. You can have one tablespoon for three smart points. That's generally what I will do with the nut butter. Also, Trader Joe's makes a really good almond butter and peanut butter that are strictly the nut and salt. So those are great options as well. But when you're looking for a peanut butter, just make sure all that you see on the ingredient label is the nut itself and maybe some salt. Cacao nibs is another thing that I really have been loving. These are little pieces of raw chocolate. So they don't taste like your Hershey milk chocolate. They're not sweet and sugary. They are a raw chocolate, but they add a nice 
crunch and that little bit of chocolatey flavor to things such as yogurt or smoothie bowls or acai bowls. These are great just to add for a little chocolatey crunch. I have been loving them on yogurt. That's where I have been eating them mainly. And sometimes I'll even top my smoothie with a couple of cacao nibs just for that little extra chocolate and crunch. But these are great. They are a little bit pricey, but you don't have very many when you eat them. It's literally about a tablespoon or so of the cacao nibs. So I'll put the points here on the screen for a serving of the cacao nibs, but your body knows how to process it. And it's nice in a pinch if you want a little bit of chocolate or crunch in your snack or meal. Unsweetened coconut is another thing that I have been loving. And again, I'm using this to top my yogurt, to top my smoothies, smoothie bowls, acai bowls, really anything that you want to add that little punch of coconut for. If you get the organic unsweetened coconut, I find Trader Joe's has the best for this best price and it is pretty low in smart points considering it is coconut it is unsweetened so you're really just getting that yummy coconut flavor but it's delicious again to top things with another thing that's great with the unsweetened coconut is if you put just a sprinkle of it on top of a piece of Ezekiel bread with some nut butter it just gives that little sweetness and yumminess of some coconut nutritional yeast is another thing that I have been loving I bought mine at a local store called natural grocers but I saw it at Trader Joe's the next time that I went and it's actually a better deal there. But they say that nutritional yeast is the vegan version of Parmesan. So it's kind of a flake, but it has a cheesy taste to it. So you can use this in place of anything that you would add, say, Parmesan to. So some common uses for nutritional yeast are to put, the, put it on popcorn. People really like to have it on there. It makes kind of a cheesy popcorn. You can also put this on baked potatoes, Anything that you would really add cheese to, spaghetti, you name it, you can use nutritional yeast in place of Parmesan cheese. It has some great nutritional benefits. It's low in smart points and really truly it's delicious. Another thing that I have seen people do with it is use it in place of breadcrumbs. So if they are using it as a binder for things such as meatballs or meatloaf, so tons of uses for nutritional yeast and you saw I just keep mine in a ball jar that keeps it nice and fresh it's low in smart points and again it's great for your body your body knows what to do with the nutritional yeast eggs of course are another staple you guys know I love my happy eggs but I did find these Wilcox omega-3 eggs at Costco and I've been really liking these they have a nice rich orange yolk which is exactly what you want to look for in a high quality egg if your yolk is yellow it is traditionally a regular egg that that is laid by chickens that are cooped up in a pen in unsanitary conditions all day long. You definitely want to go for an organic pasture raised egg when at all possible. This means that those chickens roam the pasture for the majority of their life. They get to eat bugs and all the things that produce a really good quality egg that is better for your body and is full of nutritional benefit like omega threes. So in the event that you don't get an organic pasture raised egg, next up is a pasture raised. Stay away from things such as cage free and just conventional eggs, because again, they're not the chickens are are fed usually a GMO grain so they're just not the highest quality egg and they don't have a lot of nutritional value so these eggs from Wilcox at Costco are a great price and a delicious orange yoked egg Greek yogurt is another thing that is a staple in my refrigerator but I've transitioned over from fat-free Greek yogurt to full-fat Greek yogurt when you remove the fat from yogurt, it removes its beneficial properties. So it kills all of that good bacteria and those enzymes that yogurt delivers to your body. So it's always best to choose a full fat Greek yogurt, unflavored. You also wanna stay away from flavored yogurts when at all possible, because again, it strips away its nutritional properties when adding in that flavoring. And honestly, a lot of the times, the flavoring is natural flavors, which is another thing that you absolutely want to stay away from. I am going to be doing a video in the future that talks about all the things that you want to buy at the grocery store and things that you want to avoid so we're going to be deep diving in to a lot of these you should avoid these items so stay tuned for that video in my clean 101 series but back to yogurt i love the siggy's yogurt i do like it as far as flavored yogurts go because it doesn't contain any natural flavors i prefer the full fat yogurt because it delivers those good quality nutritional benefits and the smart points aren't that much more than a low fat or non fat yogurt. Also, for traditional Greek yogurt, make sure you're getting a whole milk 
4% or higher Greek yogurt with great ingredients. Definitely choosing organic is the best way to go as far as Greek yogurt goes. And again, try to stay away from low fat, fat free, and just move into a whole milk yogurt. You're not gonna notice much difference in your points, but you're gonna notice a huge difference, not only in taste, but in health benefits. What about tortillas? You guys know I used to love the Olay Extreme Wellness and the Tomorrow's Wraps. I actually no longer eat those just because the ingredients in those are not very good. They're full of a lot of hydrogenated oils and just ingredients that are just not good for you and that your body just doesn't know how to process. So I have found a really absolutely delicious, fabulous ingredient tortilla called the La Tortilla Factory. They do have a smaller tortilla that is one smart point. It is reminiscent of a soft taco size. And then they have the nice big burrito tortilla that are only two smart points and the ingredients are so incredibly good on these tortillas they are absolutely delicious i made a quesadilla for lunch earlier in the week with these and they were so good their ingredients amazing and i will gladly pay one extra smart point for a good quality ingredient tortilla so stay away from the olay and the tomorrows and really focus on a good ingredient tortilla an honorable mention is the ezekiel Tortillas, these are typically found in the freezer section, in the natural foods area. These are four smart points each, but again, the ingredients in these are stellar. So if you want a really good filling tortilla, the Ezekiel ones are also a great option. Protein powder is something that I have struggled with finding good ingredient protein powder since I switched over to clean eating. I love the Devotion. I really like it. I still love it. It has pretty decent ingredients, so it's definitely going to be a go-to for me. Also, any type of plant-based protein, Tone It Up has a plant-based protein. It's hard for me to get used to because it does definitely have a more chalky taste to it, and I think it's just because it is made with a plant-based protein, but it's still a really good option and has pretty decent ingredients. But I found a protein powder on Amazon that I've been loving. I will definitely link it down below for you guys. It is a naked protein. So it has fabulous ingredients. You can add it to just about anything and it doesn't give you a weird chalky or really any flavor at all. And it's an excellent choice of a clean protein powder. It's pretty inexpensive. It's under $22 for a tub of it. And again, it's delicious and it really just helps bulk up smoothies and protein shakes. So anything between devotion, tone it up or any type of plant-based protein powder. And then of course this naked powder are great options. Frozen fruit has become a huge staple for me. I have been having smoothies pretty regularly since I moved over to clean eating. I've been trying a ton of fun recipes, which you guys are going to be seeing in an upcoming smoothies video where I'm sharing tons of clean eating smoothies with you. But I've been loving frozen fruit. I've also been putting it in my non-fat plain yogurt, but frozen fruit is a staple. You can see I have tons of options on hand. I generally always stick with organic just because a lot of fruit falls on the dirty dozen list. If you don't know what the dirty dozen is, I did a video talking all about the dirty dozen and the clean 15. I will also link that down in the description box for you guys. But I always buy organic fruit. There are a lot of options out there. You can find mixed blends, single blends, Great to have on hand for a quick fruit fix, but again, just make sure you're purchasing those organic. I also always have quite a few greens options on hand. Things that I can add to my salads, my breakfast, and definitely greens that I can throw into a smoothie. So some of my favorites, of course, are baby spinach, which again, spinach and kale both fall on the dirty desert and are extremely full of pesticides, so highly recommend you pick these up organic. But I have been adding baby spinach, this long leaf kale. So when you're buying kale, try to pick up the kale that looks like romaine lettuce leaves versus the kale that looks like parsley. It's more nutritionally dense and it makes excellent kale for salads, smoothies, and kale chips because of the big leaf form of the kale. So I've been buying that and then I also like this mixed package where I'm getting a little bit of spinach and kale and just some different high quality greens. Again, always buy your greens organic and Pro tip, you can freeze spinach, kale, and this little green mix and have those readily available and frozen to add to smoothies. That way it doesn't go bad. So if you find that your greens are going bad before you have a chance to eat them, portion out what's left before it goes bad into little baggies, throw them in your freezer, and you have greens on hand for smoothies. Really briefly, I wanna show you some of my 
snack options that have become my staples on clean eating. I'm not gonna deep dive too much into snacks because I wanna save it for a snack video, but here are a few of my favorite snacks that I've discovered that are really good, clean ingredients. First is the Lily's Chocolate, or this dark chocolate from Costco. Both ones, both of these are great chocolate options. If you just want a little something sweet, they have good ingredients and they set well with your body and your body has an easy time processing the ingredients in both of these chocolates. These chocolates with the blueberries are delicious from Costco. They do have natural blueberry flavor, which is the one ingredient that I'm not so keen on, but overall, these are both great options for chocolate. These coconut rolls I'm loving from Costco, but sad to say, I think that they are discontinuing them because when I bought this bag at Costco, they had about less than 10 bags left and they were kind of thrown in with some of the other snacks. So I don't know how much longer they're gonna be at your local Costco. Also, these bites are really, really good. They're really, really expensive, but they're really, really good. You can have two of them for three smart points and they have fantastic ingredients as well. I found these at my local Fred Meyer or Kroger store, but I've also seen these at Walmart. And lastly are chip or cracker options. So as far as chips go, the Siete grain-free tortilla chips are so good. They come in a ton of flavors. I have the lime, they come in sea salt and nacho. They are great ingredients. They're pretty good in smart points and they're nice to be able to dip in some sort of cheese or salsa if you really have to have a chip. And for crackers, I am loving the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. I picked these up at Costco because they are generally pretty high in or they are pretty expensive at your local grocery store, but Costco actually has them for a really good price and they're delicious and they're great on smart points. So those are just a few of these clean eating snacks that I've recently discovered. We are going to deep dive into snacks in a later video as well. I've been loving honey and don't buy the cheap honey, especially honeys at like the Dollar Tree or the generic types of honeys at your grocery store. A lot of those are processed overseas in China and they are made with rice syrup. So they're not actually even honey. They are an extremely low quality rice syrup product. If you're gonna buy honey, make sure you are buying organic raw honey. I found that both Costco, Costco sells a three bottle package of the honey for a really, really good price. And also Trader Joe's has this raw honey that I absolutely love in this little jar and it is so good. I mean, the flavor is amazing. And honey has a low glycemic impact to your body. So it's a great sweetener alternative and a little bit goes a long way. Just make sure that you are picking up organic raw honey. Maple syrup is another thing that I've been loving as well. And maple syrup is kind of in the same boat as honey. Make sure you are buying an organic pure maple syrup. When you flip it over, the only ingredients are maple syrup. This one, this this Vermont from Trader Joe's is really, really delicious. It's less than $5. And again, maple syrup, a little bit goes a long way. Costco also has a really good organic maple syrup option. Just make sure that you're staying away from conventional or sugar-free maple syrup and you're moving towards an organic, pure maple syrup. As for milk or non-dairy alternatives, this Forager cashew milk has become my favorite. The ingredients in this are so, so good. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. You can find this in the health food refrigerated section in your local grocery store. You want to stay from a, away from a lot of the almond milks. Flip them over. Check the ingredients. I used to love the Califia Farms almond milk, but it has carrageenan in it. And carrageenan is an inflammatory. In fact, it's a inflammatory that they give to people that they're trying to inflame for medical purposes. So steering clear of carrageenan is really important. And most almond milks have that in there. So make sure you're flipping it over and taking a look at what the ingredients are. And again, the Forager one is a great option. It has really, really clean ingredients and it is free of carrageenan. Also, as far as milk goes, I've been just buying this organic fat-free milk in the event that I want regular milk. Now I may transition into a full fat milk, but I'm not a big milk drinker and I use it mainly in baking or cooking. So I'm okay using a fat-free milk, but make sure that you are buying organic. And again, you're checking the ingredient label to make sure that what is in your milk is whole clean food. Getting some type
type of a good quality oil is essential when you are clean eating. I love the Chosen Foods avocado oil. I buy this big bottle at Costco. It's less than $11. It is a fan fantastic deal. You want to stick with olive oil or avocado oil, but when you are choosing olive oil, you want to pick an organic version. You don't want to buy a cheap processed olive oil. You have to be really, really careful with cheap olive oil. You want to spend a little bit of extra money to get a high quality olive oil versus a less expensive one. Trader Joe's has a couple of great organic olive oils. And then of course, Chosen Foods avocado oil is number one in my book. And speaking of oils, if you're going to purchase a cooking spray, Chosen Foods avocado spray is the best option. You can buy the two pack at Costco for about $6. And in the grocery store, you're going to be paying $6 per container. So this is a really good cooking spray. The main thing with cooking sprays is staying away from those that have a propellant in them. You wanna get the kind like the Chosen Foods and the Trader Joe's that come out naturally instead of using a chemical propellant to propel out the cooking spray. I've also been a big proponent of chia seeds. I've been loving these in my oatmeal, my smoothie bowls, my acai bowls. I even add these and blend these up in my smoothies. Again, make sure that you are buying an organic chia seed when you're picking one. This huge bag at Costco is a fantastic deal and it's a great quality chia seed. And on the line of seeds, let's talk a little bit about flax seed. I found in the refrigerated section in the natural area of my grocery store, this Bob's Red Mill ground flax. This is organic golden flax. It's already ground up, so it's really easy to add to things such as yogurt, smoothie bowls, in your smoothies. And you can even add chia seed and flax seeds into things like overnight oats or even into baking. So highly recommend having both an organic chia and flax seed or flax seed powder on hand. Hummus is another thing I've been loving. And with hummus, you want to watch your ingredients. The cleanest hummus that I have found is this Hope hummus. They come in a ton of different flavors. This one is my favorite. This is the kale and pesto. And what's even better about this hummus is you can have three tablespoons for two smart points. So you actually get an extra tablespoon and this hummus is delicious. And again, they do have several different types of hope hummus. Just make sure you're buying an organic hummus. And again, watch your ingredients. I mean, the ingredients in this hummus are so incredibly good. So you want to make sure that you're having expeller pressed oils and those types of things in your hummus. And again, stick with organic. I have a lot of nuts and seeds and dried fruits on hand as well. When buying a dried fruit, make sure you're picking one that doesn't have any added sugar. So for example, these dried cherries from Trader Joe's, they don't have any added sugar. So I'm gonna count these as zero smart points. I'm not going to overeat them. I use them to top yogurt and smoothie bowls or to make homemade granola bars like I did in meal prep recently, but I don't overeat the dried cherries. And when there's no added sugar, I count them as zero points. So have some dried fruit on hand in a pinch for yogurt and smoothie bowls. Make sure they don't have any added sugar. And as far as nuts and seeds go, I love them all. So I have pumpkin seeds on hand all the time because I like these in yogurt and smoothie bowls, and these are great to bake with in place of other types of nuts and seeds. Plus your almonds, your walnuts, your pecans, just make sure you're buying them organic and you're buying them without any added salt or sugar because a lot of them are candied and you want to stay away from those as well. But a good organic nut and another one, actually another one is hemp seed. Hemp seed is a great thing to add on top of salads. You won't even notice that it's there. It adds a nice crunch and it is, has a lot of nutritional benefit. So have those good dried fruits and nuts and seeds on hand. Speaking of nuts and seeds, let's talk about flour. So on a clean eating diet, you stay away from white flour, processed flour, wheat flour, and you buy nut flours. For example, coconut flour is a great thing to have on hand. Almond flour, like oat flour, those are great options to have on hand. Replace the white processed flours in baking and in cooking, and they don't really taste any different. You can find almond flour for a great price at Costco, and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a fantastic website that I have recently discovered. I am just waiting for my order to come in, and I'm gonna do a little haul and talk about that website where you can find clean foods for a great 
price. So stay tuned for that. But buying some sort of nut flour or flour alternative, make sure you have several on hand, depending on the type of ingredient or baking or cooking that you're doing. For example, you don't want to use coconut flour when you bake because coconut flour absorbs a lot of the liquid. So your baked goods are going to come out sandy. They're going to come out kind of flaky and fall apart where you would want to sub in either an oat or almond flour. So have them all on hand, just depending on what you're going to make, but stay away from white flour and wheat flour and pick a good whole ingredient flour. And while we're talking about flours, check out this lupin. I found this at Costco. Basically a lupin bean is in the same family as a chickpea, but they have ground it up and made it into a flour. Now this makes a really good binder. I made some really good meatballs with lupin and they turned out so good. Lupin is just lupin, as you can see here. There is nothing added to it, so it's a great binder. It's subs in place of flours and corn meals and those types of things in your cooking. So this is a great thing to have if you do have a Costco nearby. Highly recommend. I've used it several times. It doesn't taste like a bean, and it really doesn't have any flavor. And what about sugar and sugar alternatives? I am going to be doing a video all about this, so I'm not going to dive too deep into this, but I tend to gravitate towards monk fruit. Monk fruit is the sweetener of choice for me. They have the granulated monk fruit. They also have a brown sugar and a powdered. So you pretty much have everything that you would need as far as sweetener goes. And monk fruit is a natural sweetener. It is not a sugar al alcohol, and it is something that your body knows what to do with and how to process. So this is a great option for a sweetener. Stevia is also a good option. And then coconut sugar is really the best sugar that you can use. Now it is a sugar, so it does have smart points, the same as traditional white sugar, one smart point per teaspoon, but coconut sugar is so good. It is made from the palm of the coconut. And again, your body knows what to do with this, and it is a million times better than white table sugar. It tastes the same, but it just has a lot more nutritional benefit. So again, we are gonna be deep diving more into sugars in a later video, but these are some of the ones that I always have on hand. Lastly, I wanna talk about pasta, because I love pasta, and I still eat it all the time. So I have some suggestions for you on some good pastas. First, of course, is fiber gourmet. Now, fiber gourmet is going to be the best pasta for your points buck. It's actually going to be three or two ounces of pasta for three smart points. Now, traditional pasta is anywhere from four to five smart points for the same two ounces. So it's a great option. It has fabulous macros and the ingredients aren't too shabby. Also for pastas, you can lean towards things such as bean-based pastas like lentils and that type of thing. Also your brown rice and your rice-based pastas are another one that people seem to gravitate towards. I would highly recommend checking the ingredient labels of any pastas that you're choosing, especially when they are more processed, like the regular spaghetti that you buy at the grocery store. You never wanna buy enri enriched wheat pasta. Just your traditional pasta at the grocery store is a no-go because it is processed and it is full of not good for you ingredients. I eat a lot of quinoa, which is a great pasta substitute. Costco has a great price on quinoa. This whole bag is less than $10 and I cook it a lot in my pressure cooker. You can cook it on the stove and quinoa is a superfood. So it has great nutritional benefits. It tastes really, really good. So I've actually been using this in place of a lot of my rices and my pastas. But if I really want rice, I gravitate towards brown rice. And my favorite is this organic brown rice in the freezer section at Trader Joe's. This rice is amazing. You throw the little bag in your microwave for three minutes and you have perfectly cooked brown rice every time. You can have a half of a cup for three smart points. It has great nutritional properties and it tastes really nutty and good as well. My biggest struggle with brown rice is cooking it. It never comes out soft. It always comes out hard and chewy. So by buying this Trader Joe's organic frozen brown rice, it comes out perfect every time. So I am generally leaning towards quinoa or brown rice in place of any other type of rices. As far as mayonnaise goes, I don't eat any type of regular or light mayonnaise because they are made with soybean oil, which is terrible for you. So I have leaned towards the Chosen Foods Avocado Mayo. Is it higher in smart points? Yes, but it is so delicious. You do not need very much of the mayonnaise to make a meal. It is so incredibly delicious. This big jar is at Costco for a great price. So I highly recommend buying 
a avocado oil mayo versus any other type of mayonnaise that you can find on the grocery store shelf. Even olive oil mayonnaise, look at the back. They are full of hydrogenated oils, soybean oils, emulsifiers, things that are not good for your body and that your body doesn't know how to process. Highly suggest taking the points hit on an avocado mayo. And again, Chosen Foods is hands down my favorite. Coffee creamer, this is something that I literally panicked when I switched over to clean eating because now I no longer drink my sugar-free coffee creamer from Coffee Mate that I used to love because the ingredients are so terrible. I mean, it's literally full of chemicals. It is chemicals. So I no longer have that coffee creamer. And I found a couple of good alternatives. One of course is a grass fed half and half. Now this is really truly the best option when it comes to creamer. It's grass fed in its traditional half and half. So it makes your coffee nice and creamy. Also, they have picnic creamers. There's two out that I found that are really, really good in ingredients. One of them is a collagen creamer, and this one is really, really good. It is nice and creamy, similar to the half and half, but it is full of great ingredients. There is nothing artificial in these, and you get that little extra dose of collagen and MCT oil, which are great for your body. Also from Picnic is a vegan-based coffee creamer that I've been really loving as well. And look at these ingredients. They are so incredibly good. So that's all fine and good that we found some good creamer alternatives, but what if you're like me and you like your coffee sweet? This is where a little bit of the struggle bus comes in. So Calithia Farms makes a better in half coffee creamer. I have not purchased this yet, so I don't know what the ingredients look like, but I have heard that this is a really good flavored creamer. It may not be super sweet, but if you want flavored creamer, this is a good one to lean towards. So I've heard. Again, I have not picked it up yet. But what I have been doing is in my coffee, along with my grass-fed half and half or my picnic creamers, I'm either adding a little bit of coconut sugar and taking the points for that or I'm just adding in some monk fruit for zero smart points in with my creamer and my coffee comes out sweet and creamy. You can also add in things such as extracts like a peppermint extract or an almond extract or a mint extract to add that little bit of flavor without having any bad ingredients or chemicals into your body, especially a pure vanilla extract. You could add that in just a tiny bit and it's going to flavor up your coffee a little bit for you. So it's not the same as having a sugary or a sugar-free creamer, but it's a great alternative. It's much, much better for you and you still get that creamy flavored coffee. I have found kind of a honorable mention of sorts that I wanna share with you guys. And this is a cheese spread. This is so good, you guys. It's plant-based. They have several different flavors. This one here is the nacho cheese. It literally tastes like queso, but look at the ingredients in this. It is so full of clean ingredients. And let me just tell you how incredibly delicious this is. You can have two tablespoons of this cheese for one smart point. And again, they have several different flavors. I'll put some pictures here on the screen of some of the different flavors that they have. But you guys, they are so incredibly delicious. Even my husband loves them. And they are full of real whole ingredients. I find these in the natural refrigerated section. They are a little bit on the pricey side. I think I paid $5-ish for this. But if you love queso or cheese sauce, this is a great alternative. It's much better for you. It's full of clean ingredients. And I'm telling you, it is so point friendly and so delicious. And the last thing I want to share with you is a little bit about jelly or jam. Traditional jelly is literally sugar. That's all that it is. It is full of corn syrup and really unhealthy processed sugars. And it's really hard to find a good quality jam or jelly. You want to stay away from sugar free because again, it has sweeteners in it that your body doesn't know what to do with your body fights them off because they're chemically based. And you also want to stay away from regular jam or jelly because of its sugar content, which elevates its smart point. So I found a really good jam or jelly that is pretty good in smart points, but look at the ingredients. Oh my gosh, the ingredients are so good. So when you're looking for a jam or jelly, you wanna watch your ingredients and of course, watch the amount of sugar in there because that's going to adjust the smart points. There's also another brand of jam out there that is suggested at, for clean eating. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but there's a picture here on the screen for you guys. 
Polaner or Polaner, and it's an all natural fruit spread. This is another great option for clean eating if you can't find the one I showed you in your area. I'm not sure if this jam is just local here in my part of the, the country, but this Polaner or Polaner is a good option as well for a jam. You can make yourself a PB and J. Get some sprouted bread, some mixed nut butter or nut butter, and a little bit of this jam, and voila, you have a clean eating, healthy PB and J. All right, my friends, that is it for my fridge and refrigerator freezer staples on clean eating. I could have doubled this list and this would have been a really long video, but I narrowed it down to some of the things that I found that are staples for me. These are the things that are always going to be part of my pantry, my freezer, and my refrigerator. I eat some or most of these foods every single day and they're just great options for clean eating. Again, you should be able to find the majority of these in your area. Just most importantly is watch your ingredients and choose a food or snack or whatever you're eating that has a short list of ingredients are ingredients that you can pronounce and are clean eating ingredients. So I hope that this video helps you guys make some better choices when you're going to the grocery store on your next little weekly grocery haul. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I have an entire Clean Eating 101 series that is coming down the pipe. I am incorporating clean eating with WW, so I share the points values and I'm showing you how you can eat clean on WW and stay within your smart points. So, such a great thing, I'm loving it, I'm feeling a lot better. I'll also be sharing a one month clean eating update slash weight loss update with you guys when I hit the one month and let you know kind of what I've noticed as far as changes in my body and how it's affected my weight loss. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and your little bell notification is turned on. That way you're not missing a single video because I have lots coming your way in this Clean Eating 101 plus just my regular videos. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Thumbs up this video if you're a fan of this Clean Eating 101 series. And of course, comment down below. Let me know if I showed you some clean eating things that you didn't know were clean eating. And also, please share anything that you have found that falls into clean eating that we all could benefit from. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <music>